In the last video, we gave a very clear description of what a variable is. In this video, we're going to be talking about the different types of variables in statistics. Let's get started. So the types of variables can actually be split up into different categories. So this lecture is going to be devoted towards distinguishing between these different categories. So the first category of variables that we're going to be talking about are numerical variables. Some people refer to these as quantitative variables. These are variables that can be measured with a ruler. And by ruler, I don't mean the 12 inch ruler that you're thinking of. I'm talking about just a unit, like speed, miles per hour, like height or inches, um, like volume, like the number, or maybe like your, um, your age. These are things that can be measured in some time or some space or some size. Whatever the case might be, numerical variables are variables that you can slap a unit on. The second type of variable is categorical variables or qualitative variables. These variables are more descriptive in nature. They're descriptive observations. So for example, gender, you know, male and female, those are examples of qualitative variables. Now there are actually two types of numerical variables. The first type is called discrete. Discrete variables are variables that are numerical, but they are actually limited in terms of the number of options that you can have in response in that observation. So let me give you an example, age. You're probably around 20 years old maybe. Um, whatever the case may be, you're not gonna give me your exact age because I'm exactly around 24.5637 years old. But I'm not going to say that. I would just say I'm 24 years old until I turn 25, in which I would say 25 years old. But I'd keep giving that same answer for about a year. So it's important to understand that I'm kind of limited on the number of responses I can give if you ask me my age. I'm only going to give you one of about a pool of 130 options. So you have about a 1% chance of guessing what my actual age is. Another example might be shoe size, where, you know, your shoe size is... If I ask you, you know, what is your shoe size, you're probably not going to tell me, well, it's about 10.378. You're going to give me maybe 10, maybe 10 and a half, maybe 11, but you're kind of limited on the options that you're going to respond with. So the second type of numerical variable is called continuous variable. And these are variables that when you measure them, you can get any value. You can be as precise as you want to be. It's not going to be weird if I say my age is 24.563. If that's the case, then that would be considered a continuous variable. So let's go over some examples in the next lecture. I'll see you guys then. You just watched a video from Amore Learning. We provide free math videos and we offer many online courses. We also provide free math tutoring via YouTube Live every Thursday and Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video to get access to all of our free content. And put a comment in the comment section if you have any math questions. Check out all of our courses on AmoreLearning.org.